Big Blue Nation, what's going on, baby? This is the loyal BBN fan. And now, after a couple of days of just, or actually about a 24-hour period now, to have a chance to just sit down and truly reflect on the game between Kentucky and Mississippi, uh, Mississippi State, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's a lot of hurt people over the ball game. And, you know, let's be fair about the situation. You know, Kentucky didn't exactly come to play ball that day. They come and basically for the first three quarters, they came and they pretty much laid a flat egg. They didn't really come to play. And, I, and you know, being online and seeing people's comments and, you know, just reading a lot of different things from a lot of different people, it, um, you know, I think it's more frustration more than it is angry because, you know, as we just we just feel like our team, the expectations that we had for our team to come out um, and they just didn't come out. And it's hard not to it's hard not to compare that game to what happened last year against Tennessee. We had momentum. We had things going for us, but for some reason, we went down to Tennessee like we did last year, and we just kind of laid a flat egg, and we just got walked over. So that's kind of that, that, that's kind of the way people kind of feel going in, and, oh, what happened against Mississippi State? You know, like I said, we just didn't we just didn't show up to play the ball game, and when we tried to, you know, when we eventually got our heads on and wanted to play ball, right? The clock was against us, and we didn't have enough time. So a bad play here, a bad play there, and, you know, it, it just didn't work out in our favor. You know, I, it, it is very upsetting to see how many people is just like truly, you know, you got those people who are upset because they feel like that their team didn't play. But then you got those who are just furious and won't, you know, knew this, knew that. And that's, <clears throat> excuse me, there. and that's, that's not the case. You know, you can't just be like, well, you know, we lost the ball game and we didn't play up to a certain standards. So I want the offensive coordinator fired. I want new kickers. I want new this. I want new that. You know, part of being a fan is is truly loving your team, even when they don't do the things that you would hope that they would would want to do. And you know, the Big Blue Nation is a, is a big nation. You know, cheering for the for cheering for the Wildcats, you have so many people out there who's cheering, and as happy and as joyous as. The majority of the UK fans are when you have a handful that seem to want to bark, you notice it a lot more. And that's kind of the reaction that we got from yesterday's ball game. And you know, just just like I said, some of the things that I seen, you know, it was it was it, it's bad, you know, and you know, we're not going to fire Eddie Grant. You know, we're not going to we're not going to just keep firing people on the team. The team the team has got to figure this out. You know, the team's got to see what's going on. The team has got to search within themselves to be able to see where they move on to next. Us as fans the only thing that we can truly do is support them and be there for them. Now I say those I say this to the fans who are angry, who's calling for people's heads. Just walk away, man. Just if 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 this ain't for you, then I think you should walk away. Because for us who truly love our Wildcats, win, lose, or draw, we're going to be there for them through any time. And this is this is the time when they don't need us to be down their backs. I mean, we're I mean we're talking about young men, you know, young men, you know, some of them 18, 19 years old, and we're putting the pressure of the world on them. 
Yeah, I know they signed up for this. Yeah, I know they get these free scholarships. I know they go to school, but you know what? Most of these guys are not even going to go pro, you know? So to, to them, you know, this is the, this is about learning and growing. And us, as the, we call ourselves adults, we are the ones who should be encouraging them and hoping them on and cheering them on to just being a better team the next week out. We got to hope. We have to believe that next week when we play South Carolina, that it's going to be a better ball game. It's got to be that we're going to take care of business regardless of what goes on. Now, here's what's at stake. I mean, well, I think we've beaten South Carolina now, what, five, six years in a row now, something like that. South Carolina's not doing too good this year. So Kentucky needs a win. South Carolina win, needs a win. So when it comes down to it, basically, it's going to be determined on who wants that game the most. And South Carolina, they're, they're home. They want to beat Kentucky, you know. Everyone says if you can't beat Kentucky, then you're not worthy to be in the SEC or you shouldn't do this because Kentucky is one of those two. One of those two. <coughs> Where everybody should beat them. But Kentucky football is coming up, man. I'm telling you, the, the what, what Mark Stoops and his group is doing down there – is, is, is changing the culture and is, is bringing people in that we normally wouldn't have playing for Kentucky football. And we have to understand that as a fan base, that is, first of all, I know people don't like hearing about it. It's been beat up a thousand times, but we lost a lot of people. You know, we lost a lot of key people who played some big parts in what we had going on last year. And we're, we're in the sense of we're, we're, we're rebuilding. And people don't want that. People, you know, people expect for Kentucky football to come out and win 10 games, you know. We, now, as a fan, oh, yeah, we would absolutely love Kentucky to come out. And win 10, fit, win 10 football games. Of course we would. Anybody would love Kentucky to come out and play. But let's understand something. We're building, Okay. We're not going backwards. We're going forwards. And just because we have a setback in now, you know, we're on a two-game losing streak, that don't mean that we can't bounce back. See, that's the problem. People get upset. and You know, it's, 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 it's crazy. And we have to continue to be there for our guys and show them that we support them, even in the worst of times. I mean, they didn't come out and play yesterday like they wanted to win the ball game. Granted. But they didn't come out to, to play the ball game like they wanted to lose it in a sense either. So Mississippi State just wanted it better. Once we got that, once they got that pick six, I don't know what happened. It was just kind of like, well, I guess here we go again. But that's one game, people. That's one game. We still got plenty of time to turn this season around and be successful. I mean, we could still go eight and four. Which is still a good thing for Kentucky football. We lost, imagine, we lose four games. How many games y'all lose? Oh, man, we only lost four games. Think about how it was a few years ago. Two and ten. One out of eleven. I mean, we, we had we had horrible years. So to get to eight games this year, there's, there's nothing for us to hang our heads on. Look who we got. We got a lot of people coming back next year. So we got to keep our heads up as a team, guys. We got to keep going. And... You know, if if you if you call you if you consider yourself a true fan, then you're gonna be there for your Wildcats, regardless of what's going on. Because you love your Wildcats. You really love your Wildcats. And therefore you have to stand up and you have to support your team no matter what's going on. And I'm a loyal fan. And that's why I'm the loyal BBN fan. And that's why I stand and that's why I support my team. Just don't get down. We're going to get our heads together. Mark Suits going to get the guys together this week, and we're going to go down to South Carolina, and we're going to play ball. And I really believe that, hey, okay, you know what? We got smacked in the mouth, tw you know, um, basically five quarters because it's the last quarter of the Florida game plus the whole four quarters of this game. We got smacked around. You know what? Enough's enough. 
enough is enough. Let's go out here and play ball. So don't give up on your guys. Keep playing with them. And, you know, thanks for everything. Um, while you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, so you can get all my videos for the football and basketball season. Once again, I'm the loyal BBN fan, and thank you guys for tuning in. Go Cats!